<laughs> good evening. How do we get anything done around here? Right. Exactly. Jeez. Interruptions. We should film all that. They'd, they'd never believe it. <laughs> <laughs> we get kicked off YouTube. Yeah, exactly. And Google. Straight off, right? And Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Shut it down. So much for that. Okay, we're putting a cam cover together now. We're done screwing around. I think that was the last word I heard. <laughs> Don't put that with the cedar goes. Okay, we didn't want to lubricate your oil pump gear over there when you put the oil pump together either. Okay, we're going to run a little bit of oil across your worm gear in there so it's not dry. While the pump's trying to figure out when to start making oil or not. It hurt to do the other gear also. Speed lubrication, see? Right. Get your shaft done too. I'm going to put together dry. Okay. Something under here. Get some wood, this one. Ooh. It'll still fall over. It looks like we're doing some important. <laughs> yes, it's, uh, it's just going to fall over. It looks important though. When I did that. <laughs> it's all that matters. Looks is exactly. what we care about. Okay, this has a distributor worm gear on, so you got to lubricate it too. There's a lot of parts here. You got this gear here. Okay, that goes on there. Fighting me. Those instructions are fighting me over there. Okay, we've got a dot and a line lined up. There's one for here. Right here. Thin, thin in copper or thick in copper? Thick first. Because that's the gear rubbing on that. Then we got the spacer, which is our copper coated. And then we have the thin shim for the outside where we're just shimming. And we got a camera shaft over here. You get that right there, that off, that just goes in there. Titties go where they belong and the flat spot goes where the flat spot is for the rear cylinder. Otherwise the lifter comes down and hits it and the lifter won't adjust correctly. Unless you want to be adjusted incorrectly. Preferably not. Mm. Lubricate this when we're at it. I think that was a shim wash we determined we are going to use. Mm -hmm. We've only had this thing apart about 20 times, so it's too slippery for me to hold on to. <coughs> so, you want to lubricate your lifters. They'll lubricate themselves when they go around the circle. Okay, and then we gotta do the gear. Not close enough. Okay, where's our marks? Marky, marky, marky. Drip, drip, drip. There's our marks right there. <clears throat> Perfect. 
Seems to be lined up. <laughs> well, just give a couple take, of teeth off. Give or take one or two. <laughs> Only one off there, or two off there. That's close mm. enough. Okay. James, what do you want? Perfect. Take it around. Drop it in there. Are you happy now? That's better. Make sure the washer's in there where it belongs up top. Looks good. Clean off the goop off here. The sealer needs to go. Right, you need to put this in or take it out. Your choice. Does it do anything good? Not really does any damn thing. It's supposed to separate the uh, the mixture, the air fuel mixtures in here from the breather. But in the real world, they quit using the damn thing because they didn't need it. Didn't do anything. And uh, should we pull it out then? So, so you drop in there like that, and you got to figure out where there's room for it. Seems to be a little room. That doesn't do much when it does like that. <laughs> Way it goes. We have to clear this one. See how we're hitting on it? Mm -hmm. Should we just pull it out? It already fell out already just by doing that. Good, we didn't need it. So you put it in there, you see where it sits. See how it sits way up high in the corner. So. Do you use them on your bike? No, we don't have this crap on the real bikes. It's only on pan heads. On 45, you mean? I don't have them. <laughs> there we go. Put the other work in there either. Go this way. Don't think it'll fit that way, but it might. Yep, that'll make it. So there's your suck hole for your breather. So this goes through here. Pressure comes in here, goes through here, comes through here, comes out that tube, goes down there. This is way deep in the hole, so the air has to go around that, comes back up, and then go out this tube. So this is not doing anything to separate that air fuel out. So it's not really stopping anything from happening. Mm. The only thing it's doing is it's keeping the stuff that collects down here from coming up. But see, that whole air is supposed to suck that area dry. It ain't supposed to be in, there right. in that area. So what's it supposed to be doing? It ain't doing a damn thing, really. Because if you want to do it, you'd be between this one and that one. Mm. And there's no way of putting it in there. Now, if you put it up vertically this way, it might just maybe fit in there, but it's not tall enough. You'd have to bend it to fit that way. But they always go like this, or the other way around, maybe. So... It basically doesn't really do anything. Why don't we remove it? So, I don't really care if they're in there or not. If we have it, it's going to be in. If we don't have it, I don't worry about it. Okay. So you have one, we'll use it. But whatever. I don't know if a sleepover if it's not there. It doesn't bother me. Just one more part to sell somebody for 20 bucks. Unless you already have it. But I'm not into selling anything for 20 bucks. I'd rather... Sell it for 500. Yeah, that's it. 500. <laughs> I'm really concerned about it. You know, you're basically on your own. Mm -hmm. What you do want to do is lubricate the shafts here, especially this pinion shaft. Now, we're in feeding this thing. Why are we in feeding this thing? Should be, has that got an Allen in there right now? Hopefully it's got an Allen in there right now. Doesn't look like it. We don't want a hole going through. It looks like it has a hole going through, doesn't it? So why did we have that in there? That should have been looked at a long time ago. Why is that in there? It's a hell of a time to make a decision change on what you're doing. 
we're side only, so why are we got to be plugging here? Where is a piece of wire to see if we're actually got a hole in it? Too thick. Mm, I thought that would be too big. What about a paper clip? Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that's an oil leak. Why is that in there? That does not belong in there. Why is that in there? That should be plugged, not open. That was the old shaft that was in the motor, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. That's why we never did anything with it. Hmm. Well, that ain't gonna work. That's not the problem. Side hole was open, wasn't it? Yep. So the oil comes in through here, goes through the hole in that bushing right there, and goes straight through it into the, into the pinion snout. Every time that thing comes around, the hole lines up, oil goes in. Mm -hmm. So the rest of the time it's closed. So that restricts the oil to the crank. The crank's going to suck up every, uh, every drip right. of oil that this pump will put out, that crank will suck right up. Because mm -hmm. it's going in a circle, the centrifuge, the oil just slings right out. So it has a hell of a suction draw on it. So it'll suck all the oil out, nothing will go to your top end, right. and nothing will go anywhere else. So that's what they do. We have a hole right here that relieves any pressure that, that seeps into there. Then instead of going that direction, comes this direction, this hole here relieves the pressure. So right now the oil is going to come in through here, either go to the crank or come out that hole. There won't be any pressure mm -hmm. anywhere in the motor. So the top end will run dry. And the bottom end will suck whatever it wants to, and the rust will drip out on the damn cover and go back to the motor. So that doesn't work. If you're going to end oil it, then you got to do something different. The problem with the end oiling is, is the pump has one feed for the whole motor, and the crank steals everything you can get. So you you have to put a real small restrictor hole over here, like about a 40, 50 thou max, to restrict the pump enough the crank so it doesn't suck everything this pump makes mm -hmm. on the top end. And that's if you use an aluminum pump. With an iron pump you probably got like 30 thou hole. Because look how much hole you're going to have every time this comes around you got one hole lines up. Right. That's not open very much. So if you had a steady 30 thousand hole that would probably feed more oil than that. But we're not feeding it that way. And that's got a big hole on the end of it. So that is a press in brass thing needs to come out and then you need to beat in a solid one to plug it. And if you had the Jim's paperwork here, they probably wouldn't tell you that. <laughs> but Jim's gives you a they give you a plug to go in when you buy a motor, when you buy a new shop. Alright, so we gotta get that out of there. So we're gonna have to try to put a screw in there. And yank on it. How come we didn't see that earlier? Good question. Crappy mechanic, that's why. That's that same one we had before. What's up with that guy? He can't do anything right. Okay. Who's been playing with my damn head over here? My head's been uncovered. Who's been over here dicking around my motor? See, customers come in here. They go hunting for rags. They find them on top of my good motors. Start finger screwing everything. See, it's all uncovered over here. You had a yellow one in there hiding. People finger screwing my damn motors. See, now you don't know there's anything under there. <laughs> Secret. Don't watch it. Don't look at it. Okay, we got this one over here. It might work if I can get it in there. That don't work. You got that one. I'm thinking the one with the point on might work better than one that's been beat on with a hammer. Mm -hmm. I don't like that one anyway. What's 
reaction is enough oomph to come right out. <laughs> Simple. Why are you worried about that? Maybe. <laughs> the hard part is getting it off. <laughs> Next problem is you got another one? Um, I personally do not. Do you have one in your back pocket? No. We have one right here, we'll just reuse it. Plug up. Just solder it up. We'll just take it and solder it and beat it back into the hole. Simple. Got some solder with you? Yes, up there. solder. Might have a little bit of muck in there. Okay. Let's go get our solder gun.